conversations with our queens from across the world. They are entertaining, educating, with tons of passion. Welcome to the show, Queens Forever. Hello to all the beautiful people. Feels absolutely on the top of the world to meet all of you to this most amazing and magnificent show, Queens Forever, brought to you by River Comics. We international, and you're watching us on Indus TV. As we always say, grounds are made of rhinestones, and they are made of discipline, determination, courage, and tons of positive attitude. I'm going to take you all to introduce you to the very beautiful and talented Miss Universe Queen, taking you all the way to Zambia, as we know about her confidence and her charisma that created waves right from the beginning of her journey with Miss Heritage International towards winning Miss Universe Zambia. May we please welcome the very amazing and the smiling beauty, Didia Mukwala. A global namaste to you, sweetheart. Lots of love Thank to you. Thank you so you. much. I am grateful. Thank you so much for hosting me. I am super excited to have this with you. I'm super thrilled to have you. And the world is going to truly applause for you, as they always did, seeing your wondrous journey. So when did it all start, Didia? Tell us something about your childhood. When did you first dream of becoming a beauty queen? Thank you so much for that wonderful question. This is something that I've always wanted to share. So my modeling started, I think, I believe that I grew up as a model. That every time I was invited to a birthday party or any other occasion, the only thing that I needed to do just to showcase myself was always model around. But there was a time that I, I grew up in 2010. I had my auntie, may her soul rest in peace, that encouraged me to be a model. But then I didn't see that, that potential in me. I think I needed somebody to just push me and told, to tell me to just go for it. So she died in June and I joined modeling the very year in 20, 2010 in December. It happened when I was at the mall, funny enough, with my other auntie. So there's this lady that stopped me and asked me if I could model. I wasn't a very confident person then. I couldn't even wear heels. So I told her it's something I wouldn't, I wouldn't do because, first of all, I cannot even wear heels. I cannot walk in heels. But I believe that she saw something in me. So she told me, just give it a try. Let me see you walk in your flat shoes. I did my walk and she told me, I really want to know more of you. Is it fine if we can meet up uh, a week to come so I can just see what you are able to possess and see how I can help you? So it happened the next weekend that she, she had many other girls and she told us she was going to pick few girls for her show. There, I was like, I'm just here because I didn't know exactly what to do. So she started picking three, she started picking girls and she picked three for a start. She was just pointing face to face. Then when it came to my part, she called and asked, where is Didia? So for me, that meant a lot because this is somebody that I felt so something unique in me that needed to have it come out. And from there, I just told myself, I do not want to disappoint myself or the person that has brought me here. So that's how come my journey started as a model. Beautiful. And you shared it <laughs> so amazingly well, Lydia. I've seen you always as a very confident person because I first met you for the Heritage International Beauty Pageant. Now tell us, now this is something that everyone would like to know. The two important very important aspects of a beauty pageant. One, to have confidence, which you said, you know, yeah, you, you weren't really confident about yourself. If you are confident enough to participate at a beauty pageant. And second important aspect is to wear stilettos and walk in heels. How did you overcome sure. that? How did you overcome it? So like I said, there are many a times that we just look at ourselves and look down on ourselves. We feel like we cannot do it. Other people can. So because I saw that lady push in me and trying to release the greatness that I carried, 
I felt this is a time that I have to showcase what I own. Truth be told, uh, my confidence came in when I saw the other ladies that were picked at first, the first three, walk in heels and do it all right. I told myself I do not want to embarrass myself. And I remember I did not carry any heels, but some lady borrowed me some heels. So I, I walked confidently. So this is something that I was hiding. It is the fear that I had that was hiding everything that I carried, all the beauty that I have right now. I want to ask you something very honestly. I feel all the beauty queens from Zambia and the close by places are naturally very flexible, very energetic and great dancers. Is it true? It is very true. The reason being, I feel like as a beauty queen, we are introduced to working out. Our bodies have to adapt to being in the gym and always be flexible. So there's nothing hard in being a dancer or being anything else. When you are a model, you are exposed to so many things. Hence, we just get used to all this stuff. Lovely. Didia, please share with us the journey right from Miss Heritage International to winning the best title in the world, Miss Universe Zambia. How was the journey? Thank you so much. So my journey growing up has not been easy especially being a model, it was never easy. From the start, when I was drawn Miss Heritage International Zambia, I started after fighting so many battles, fighting so many pages just to have a position and tell myself this is what I wanted. When I won the title, I represented my country in India, New Delhi, and I was in top 10. I remember I got two medals, one with the best body in national costume and the other one with the best national national flag presentation. So from there, I went on and contested for Miss University Africa and I was the first runner up for my country. I went on and contested for Miss Zambia and I was in top eight, but my aim to contest in every pageant was to win. I remember when I was contesting everybody in my country, most of the people in my country wanted me to win. They kept voting and telling me you are the winner. So I went on that stage knowing that I am winning this crown, but it didn't come my way. And that pushed me to not give up. I had many voices that told me to give up because I had tried so many times, but I stood up and said, I am going for the next pageant, which I went for Miss Universe in, in 2017. And I, when I did Miss Universe 2017, I was the fourth runner up. I remember the chief judge that was there was from South Africa and he just wanted few models for his uh, modeling agency that sync modeling management in South Africa. So after we were crowned and I was the fourth one that he picked me and another lady for his agency in South Africa as top models. That did not stop me because I, like I said, winning wasn't me and winning was what I always see when I looked into the mirror. So I pushed on, but at a point in 2018, I reached a point where I had so many voices that told me, you need to quit this and just focus on something else because every time we want you to win, it comes out a different way. So at some point I was, on, I was almost giving up. 2019 came, I saw Miss Universe auditions for my country, the face auditions I did not want to take part because those voices were still in my ears. Then, Luckily, they had a, another audition, which I remember was somewhere in June. There I told myself, Didia, what you see in yourself is what you will become. I pushed I auditions for those auditions. And I remember one of them asked me, why are you back? I told them because I see myself as a winner. And this time around, I'm here to win. So my journey has always been not to give up. Wow, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Thanks to everyone across the world. This is really an inspiration to you. You take a deep breath and we'll see you back super soon. Thank you very much, you. Comics, for making our life colorful, to Indus TV for this brilliant show and our V International. See you guys back.
Yep, Pose the Brick on behalf of River Comics. We international and in TV. Truly delighted to welcome you all to Queens Forever. And look at the wondrous journeys for all those who thought their lives were easy. They got the crown and they won them very easily. Didi Amala is one example where she believed she doesn't have to give up. Though a part of her mind said, yes, it's time for you to stop and take a breather. But then she realized that no, she can see herself as a winner. So the beautiful vision that Didia had for herself, you can have for yourself as well. Come on, let's know more about our beauty queen, Miss Universe Zambia. You know, I'm so delighted. Mm -hmm. I like that this is the way. <laughs> This is the way we go about greeting everyone sure. with saying a beautiful mm -hmm. hi. At the same time, sending thanks of love to each and every one of you. Uh, Didia, uh, I'm very, very lucky and fortunate to be the jury because I was um, also the jury for your personal interview round. And I remember, I still remember you answering very well and being very confident. But sometimes, mm -hmm. irrespective of you being very confident, you do, you do realize that, oh my God, you need to take a back seat. But thank you for not giving up. And thank you for being on this universe and being an example for all of us. What do you think is very important for you to prepare to win the crown? How do you prepare yourself? Thank you so much. So for me to prepare for a pageant, I need to focus on my body. That is key because that brings out my posture. So when I did Miss Universe 2017, I was to take you back. Trust me, I wasn't so familiar with the gym. I thought because I am tall, I am slim, I just walk in and say, here I am. I didn't know that. I think that costed me and made the reason why I couldn't pick up that crown then. But I remember going back, I did my wake up so very well uh, because I started as a fitness trainer in one of the soldiers camp. So I worked so hard and told myself I need to work on my body. And not only that, I worked on my confidentiality. That is how to just come up or how to come up with answers and how to just present myself in front of people. Because as a queen, you expect everybody to look on you to like you are the example to everybody around you. So I built myself on that. And it's something that I did every time I woke up. I have to see myself in the mirror and see how I will come out. We need this practice. And that's one thing every queen must know. You just don't wake up, wake up and say, I am beautiful. I am young. I am slim. I'm going out there. I am tall or short. I'm going to do it. This practice makes perfect in every circumstance. Wow. I, I like the way you speak your heart out, Didia. It just comes <laughs> so well and you really speak from deep within and that's the kind of experience you had. Um, so tell yeah. us, Didia, you've been training yourself so well, so well enough to win the crown of Miss Universe. Which was that question? The final question which won you the crown. I want you to get back and feel nostalgic about that moment when you were announced as Miss Universe. Share with us that precious moment. Well, this was the best moment of my life. Having lost in so many pageants and coming out to the big one was one of the most cheerful, painful, exciting moment. I remember when I was on stage, I had this one, of, one friend of mine that I almost thought was going to win. The questions were so amazing. It reached a point where we are asked so many questions just to prove who is who because the competition was very stiff. But I carried myself and I told myself, you're going there to win. And I remember the most exciting moment was when my name was called and just seeing my mom fell off because of excitement. That was so touching. And till now, I'm so honored and humbled. Wow. And which was that like final question, which won you the crown, the final Q&A round? The what final the question, question that I was down? asked, the final question that I was asked for the finale, I remember, this sounds easy, but yet so tough. What do you want to do in the next five years? I told myself, this is it. So my answer was, I want to see myself as Miss Universe, former Miss Universe Zambia because then I believe I was winning it. So I needed to 
be seen as former Miss Universe Zambia, which I am now still holding on to it, current Miss Universe Zambia. And I told them I want to be known as a very hardworking woman, a woman who stands on encouraging people out there on the importance of not giving up, a woman who is going to be known as a very wonderful mother. I have two years now to my crown and I believe I've accomplished part of my answer. And yet I'm yet to be that mother, that woman, that hardworking wife in the near future with three years to come. Thank you. Wow, what a brilliant answer. And thank you for teaching us so much as well. So for all those who really get petrified with the Q&A round, I mean, look at Didia, she's so confident. Didia, who's the one who encourages you right from the beginning? You know, it's your family or is it, uh, you know, your sponsors? Who encourages you and pushes you to go ahead besides your aunt? Right from the start, it's always been my mother. She has always inspired me to work extra hard because I have, I'm blessed to have a very strong woman for a mother who always encourages me and believes in my next step in life. I really want to ask you about your favorite story or your favorite comic that you must have come across in your life. <laughs> my favorite story is going to be about myself. It's, um, it really happened to me, even as much as it may sound funny, it was quite a tricky. So there was a time I was with my mom's sister of my same age, we were going uh, to visit my auntie on the other side. So as we were walking, there was a dog ahead. I remember passing through a pit, like passing it on the side, we saw it. And because there was a dog ahead, it came running to me so viciously. So when I was running back, I went right in that pit and I have a very bad scar on my left leg. And every time I see it, it reminds me of that moment. All right. That's very interesting because I have something very, very great to mention to you and to all the beautiful people from all across the world. All you need to do is to download the app of River Comics simply to read your favorite stories, everything you wanted to know about. And the most important aspect is for families to sit back together and enjoy very interesting comics and stories on this app of River Comics. So this is a gift to you and the world. And thank you, River Comics, for making our life colorful. I'm going to take you on a very short commercial break before I get to know more about Didia and you get to know the insights of how to win the crown right from our Miss Universe Queen, Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for We International Founder, President, Chairman, Mr. Bharat Goradia. Bollywood star. Mr. Bharat Guradia with legendary singers from Indian music industry. He believes in spreading smiles over everyone's faces. Award and Bharat Gaurav Pride of India Award winner Mr. Bharat Goradia has been innumerably awarded across the globe for his outstanding work in the field of promoting Indian arts and culture all over the world. Looking back, it's always about the confidence, the charisma, and the character. A very charismatic Miss Universe Zambia. Didia, what are those important aspects one needs to possess in order to win the crown, according to you? Thank you so much once again for another question. One of the important aspects to win a crown is just to be you. When you stand out as being you, trust me, there is nothing so much unique as coming out so natural and carrying your culture, bringing it to the world, embracing it, 
trust me, you bring out the best of you and everybody around you will be so amazed with what you can possess. I still remember, Didier, the way you danced. We were all, you know, with our wide eyes awake and I still remember the lovely step that you taught us. So it has been so brilliant and you, you all have been so well gifted, you know, by the gift of natural beauty, natural talent, dance and a great body. So what do you think amongst all these, because you said you always focus on your body first, how important is mental health besides all these attributes? Thank you. Mental health is something very important in one's life. The more you exercise, the more you do the things that you love, the more you build yourself. Mental health is something that builds us, is an aspect that builds us to be stronger and to stand firm in everything that we believe in. So this, this is uh, an aspect that helps you, t- helps to build you as an individual and helps you to grow each and every day. You face a lot of challenges. What is that one thing every time you face the challenge you said to yourself and you came out of it? One thing, of course, will always be never give up. Never give up, Didia. You are a winner. So we're going to take these words, never give up, as the most never important three words. Rather than I love you, I have something else now to think about. Let me never give up for a change. And come exactly. into our love. Yes. So I love you, but never give up. Are the important three words in your life. And now the very interesting rapid fire round. Didia, your most memorable memory from a pageant. The most important memory from my pageant of Miss Universe when I won is the category, the sports category. So I love wrestling. I love, I enjoy watching wrestling. So I remember my cousin made me a belt that I carried with the WWE superstar. And I came out so strong because, and I was representing John Cena, who goes with the mantra of never giving up. So to me, that put more confidence in me because I felt I was standing out. I was showcasing that which is in me. Who's your inspiration and who do you admire? My inspiration, (laughs) maybe I just love my mother. My mother will always be my inspiration. She's also gone through so much and has achieved so much through her hard works. And who do you admire the most? Again, is it mom or someone else? Right now, I admire the current president of my country. So we have a new president in my country, Mr. Haka Inde Hichilema. This is a man that has been in opposition for several, for so many years, about 24 years. And he just won as president in my country. This is a man that has told me the importance of perseverance, consistency, and just ignoring other voices that comes in when you try to fight your dream. Your favorite cake flavor? Always chocolate. I'm a sweet, I'm a sweet tooth. I love chocolates. Your favorite day of the week? My favorite day of the week is Friday because this is a day that most of my friends are off work. I get to move around, watch movies with them and just catch up with how the week has been. Two things on your bucket list. Two things on my bucket list is to travel. Do more of the travel and just have more of fashion shows to watch. I love fashion. What are you? What are you most proud of? I'm proud of the fact that I'm a lady that has stood up to my dreams and how I just carry myself. The learning experience, the learning experience you had from Miss Heritage International. The learning experience that I had for Miss Heritage International is understanding the importance of culture. Trust me, when I went there, I didn't know much of even my culture, but it helped me understand that it is very important to know where you come from, the tradition that you carry. And the most tourist attractions that we had, when I went for that heritage, for Miss Heritage, that was the time that I started checking out what we have in our country. So that was a very amazing pageant to Contest for. We need to give the credit to Mr. Santosh Sapkota, the founder of Heritage International Pageants. Thank you, Santosh. And this is how I met Didia as well. Didia, want to know the favorite food you give up upon when you participate at a beauty pageant? What is that favorite food you give up upon? 
Okay, so giving up on food to me is not a hard thing to do, but I like pizza. So I put that aside because at some point I just see my body coming out um, a little bit bigger, my tummy. So I put pizza aside just to be on a good ship. One thing you can't live without. Okay, one thing I can't live without is I am a prayer warrior. I can live without my Bible. Everywhere I go, I leave my Bible with me. Beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful spiritual connect that mm-hmm. you have. Your favorite makeup. makeup. So my favorite makeup is basically, I like my makeup, my face so simple. I just do foundation and do my eyebrows and I'm good to go. Amazing holiday destination that you always want to be at. Amazing holiday destination that I want to be at is Bahamas just to be out there and just viewing the ocean, I believe can give me a good mindset of just how to view life. You already feeling romantic. So I have a romantic question for you, Didia. If you had to go on a date with any of the actor or the superstar, any celebrity from any part of the world, who would you go with? And of course, we all know that you want to go to the Bahamas, but who would you go with and why? Thank you so much. So if I had to go on a date with somebody, a superstar, that would be Naomi Campbell. (laughs) I love this lady so much. And every time people look at me, they picture, they compare me to her. So I feel this is a lady that I want to see. Obviously, I carry something in her that I need to bring in me. So Naomi Campbell would be so much of a fun to me. Thank you so much, Didia. But we have a very, very important guest who's here to say a big hi to you and to ask you a question as well. It's time for us to welcome world's number one promoter of art and culture in the United States of America. May we please welcome Mr. Bharat Goradia Ji. <laughs> hi, Didia. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Nice to see you. Absolutely fine. After seeing two beauties, all male can be super fine, you know. (laughs) Sure. Especially two title holders, you and Simran, both are title holders. So it's always a pleasure on behalf of our sponsor, River Comics, V International. It is indeed my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you on one of the most outstanding talk show called uh, Queens Forever. A very hearty welcome to you, dear. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, I have a very wonderful question to ask you. Which is the easiest and the toughest round you found while winning the crown? All right, so the easiest round that I found during Miss Universe 2019 was the national costume category. So this is where I get to go extra. I love to be extra. So at this point, I try so hard to bring out everything that represent my country in one specific outfit. And mostly I stand out on that, not to brag, but that's how it comes out to be. The toughest one is always the question and answer. Funny enough, our Miss Universe pageant was the trickiest because this is a point where we were asked so many questions. The judges kept calling us back and forth for questions and answer. I believe the pageant was a very stiff competition so they needed one with the best answer to be that winner. So always on every pageant, the question and answer, it much, in as much as it may seem to be easier, is the toughest because this is where you show out what you carry. Oh, what a wonderful, what an amazing answer you give. Very <laughs> nice, you. very nice. Ex- excellent. <laughs> excellent. Uh, anyway, on behalf of our sponsor, River Comics, V International, Indus TV, thank you so, so very much for sparing your valuable time, sharing your experiences and giving us and all the young girls tips how to win the crown. So wishing you all the very best in all your forthcoming projects and see you very, very soon, dear. God bless you. Thank you so much. So lastly, I just want to say a great many thanks to River Comics, to Indus TV, to Simram. Thank you so much. It was amazing meeting you. I look forward to seeing you again. To Mr. Bharat, Thank you for having me, hosting me, and I hope to see you soon. You're doing such great works. Thank you. Pleasure is mine, dear. Pleasure is mine, (laughs) always.
it's been truly amazing knowing the journey of Miss Didia, our Miss Universe Zambia. And of course, it's time for all of us to excel in our endeavors. For now, it's a very good high. I don't like to say goodbyes. So myself, Bharati and Didia will greet you in the coming week with yet another beauty queen from yet another continent, another part of the universe. Till then, see you guys and stay happy. Bye. Bye.